Hello and welcome to the video for Friday, May the 15th for sixth grade. This is going to be our homework video from the lesson that we started on today. And so uh, we're going to be looking at two different things as we go through most of these problems. We're going to be looking for the median, which would be kind of a measure of the average. Um, we could also use mean for this in some cases as well to compare our average. And so for Lake A, our average weight, or median weight rather, uh, would be eight pounds compared to 5.5 pounds for Lake B, which means the fish in Lake A are on average going to weigh more. Um, however, our range of eight compared to a range of three suggests that those values would be spread out more. And so we may have some rather small fish and we may have some rather large fish. Um, the average weight would still be higher, but we're going to have more variation. Number three, uh, the height for class two is going to be four centimeters higher. Um, however, we are going to have more variation in our heights. And so we're looking at the interquartile range this time. And so we're not looking at the far extremes. We're looking at the most compact um, set of data points that we're working with. And so inside that very compact range, we have a variation of about three centimeters. So we're going to have a higher average height, but we're going to have more uh, spread out results. For number four, the median for both of these is going to be 80. Um, our uh, interquartile range for math is going to be 25, which is a lot larger uh, than what we're working with for science. So those scores uh, for math would be far more spread out, which you can tell by just looking at the numbers, uh, whereas all the science scores are very close together. And so uh, for number five, uh, the two things that I would say that you want to mention in the short explanation is talking about finding an average or kind of a um, way of finding the center and then talking about consistency when we're looking at either our range or our interquartile range. So if you've talked about both of those things and how we're going to be looking at that, uh, that would be an acceptable answer in my book. So number one on the back, um, we are going to have a very similar variation. So we're only one point difference as far as uh, our variation between the two teams. However, team A is going to average five points higher. Uh, for B, Ben is going to have an average uh, test score of four points higher uh, using a mean. And then our interquartile range of nine suggests that Ben is far less consistent. So that most compact set of data values is going to be much more spread out compared to Gene's test scores. For number three, all we had to do was do 26 minus 24 to get a difference in the medians of two students. Uh, number four, we are going to end up having a median that would be 10.5 for that. Uh, so again, we're working with six data values. Uh, it would be between 10 and 11 uh, to get our median. And so that would represent uh, very closely five out of our six data points. If we go with the mean, which would be the average, we would be factoring in this outlier. And if we use the mode, then we would be picking our smallest value uh, to represent the entire set. So median would be the best way to do that. And then for our last problem, uh, number five, we're looking at teams A and C. So we're saying that they practice roughly the same amount of hours. So A and C, there's only a, a half hour difference per week. Um, but they have the largest range difference. And so five uh, to one and a half. So there's about a three and a half uh, hour difference in practice times as far as uh, how their uh, data values are spread out. So that covers everything for uh, this week. If you have any questions, please reach out to me in Google Classroom if you're one of my students or reach out to uh, your classroom teacher if you are not. We have two more lessons for the school year, uh, one on Monday and one on Wednesday that I will be recording uh, lessons for that will finish up the last two lessons of this chapter. So if you are in a situation where you're not one of my students and you've already stopped 
uh, this was the last lesson that you were working on. You can definitely come take a look at our last two lessons so you can learn some of the rest of the stuff. And if you do have to do those last two lessons, definitely check it, out the videos on Monday and Wednesday for the lessons and the homework will be out on Tuesday and Thursday for those. So hope you have a wonderful weekend. Again, ask any questions uh, to the relevant people uh, that can help you and have a good weekend. I will see you on Monday.